Okay, so you've decided to make a Minecraft server so you can play multiplayer with your friends. Um, what we're gonna do first is you wanna go to minecraft.net. Okay, click download. So the first thing you wanna do is try and download, because we're using a Mac, we're gonna come right down to the bottom. And you wanna download this, it's minecraft underscore server. Okay, so you wanna click this, you wanna download it. Um, I've actually downloaded it already. So we can close this off. Go into my downloads. I now want to drag Minecraft Server 1.8 into my background. Um, I want to create a new folder. This new folder is going to be called, you can name it anything, let's call it Minecraft. Okay, this is where our server will be. You want to drag it into here. Okay, so double click that open, it's already in there. Okay, next what we want to do is go to Spotlight. We want to go into Text Edit, so click up the top here, right text. Okay, so you want to open up text edit. This has to be, wait for it to load up. New document. Okay, at the moment we're in rich text. We don't want to be in that. We want to be in plain text. So uh, format, make plain text. Okay, we're going to make our start command now so that we can turn on Minecraft server. So the first thing you want to do is, I've put this in the description for you below. Um, you want to copy and paste. Okay, so when you copy and paste all of this into your text edit. Okay, so you paste it. Uh, you then want to file, save. Uh, where do you want to save it? You want to save it in, um, where is it, desktop. You want to call it start dot command. Okay, um, let's save. We can close it down shrink that for the moment okay so what you want to do is drag it straight into here um, okay so, so now to run start.command we have to go up into here uh, into spotlight you want to put in terminal so open up your terminal um, you want to then type into terminal I've got it here saved uh, you got chmod space a plus x and then you got a space after it as well so you want to copy that close it down you want to paste into here. Make sure you've got a space on the end of it and then drag over your start.command, okay? Press enter, okay, that's done. So now what you've done is you've given it permission to run. You can close this down. So now what happens is when you double click this, it now loads up. Okay, so you need to agree to the EULA in order to run the server. Okay, so what we do is open up this uh, it's set to false. You want to change this to true. Okay, enter. Let's close that back down. Okay, now if you double click it again, you'll see it will now start building the world in the background. Okay, here we go. Okay, it's preparing the spawn area. You can see here that it's provided, it's, it started up the world. Okay, and now we're done. So if you were to open up your Minecraft. Okay, we're logged in as Marky Head. Gonna click play. Give it a few seconds to load up. Okay, so now we've got Minecraft loaded up. What we want to do is click over onto multiplayer. Um, I've already got a server set up here. Let's add another one. Minecraft server, let's call this number two for the moment. Now the server address, you need to put in the local um, IP address. So if you go into your system preferences, you then go into network. Uh, we're on Wi-Fi, so you want this IP address here. Okay, so let's write that down. Now let's go, what was it? It was 10.0.0.11 point. Okay, you want to you click done. Okay, now we're set up. So if you now double tap this, it should let us in and we are in, we're in a new world. Okay, so now we're, we're done. That's the server set up. You're now on a local host. You can share that IP address with um, people that are on your local network. 
um, and you can all play on the same world. The next step, what we've got to do is um, we've got to do port forwarding. So if your friends are not in the same house on the same local network, um, you want them to be able to put in a an IP address and then they can join you from their own home or wherever it is they may be playing. 